Hello, Wally Spies out there on your universe. I'm Wally Spies with 6 and welcome back to Wally Plays. Today we're checking out Bitrip Runner. Bitrip Runner is a, I guess, music beat platformer game. It's really fun. It's got really good music as well. Okay, sadly. Okay. Hold on. Here we are. Okay, that's better. Yeah. I'm um, sorry, I was just trying to turn on this up. Oh. So I've already almost completely beat the entire burst and part of the game, but I'll run through it with you guys. You start off with one ability and you get more abilities as you progress through, but. We are. Doing, I think. Commander Video, I think his name is. I don't really know his name. This game is really fun, though. I'm up, up there, you can see on the... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the goal to avoid obstacles, get all the gold bars, and when you get all the gold bars, you, um... Yeah, every time you get that plus... Like it makes the uh, it takes like hyper to mega and all that. It changes that. It's really it's really fun. It's really this is a really fun game. Trust me. I'm gonna do a short little playthrough of this with you guys. In the top right, that's the amount of gold bars you have. And once you get all of them, you get like a bonus level at the end. So for all you completionists out there, you have to gather every single gold bar in every single level. See, like the sound changes and so does the music as you get those pluses. And I also get like a little trail. So now I'm like a rainbow. Also, the step before that. Like I was like crouching and whatnot. Um, I think like ability save, so because I've already played through most of this. Well, most of the first stage, anyways. So, yeah. Yeah, this is the retro challenge. You have to, um, yeah. I think you have to just make it through it, but eh. wow, that's the farthest I've ever gotten. Holy crap! I'm going places. Is this for the record? If I make if I complete, aw, oh, let's see, if I complete that, that was my first time. And also, I'm gonna try to do, like, videos daily. I'm gonna try my best to anyways, because... Um, but it's only gonna be one video, though, because... Um, from now on, I'm trying to go and render in 1080p, so... Um, so, you know, it's very video quality on that, and it takes crap tons of time to render and so I can only really do it daily or I'd, or I'd only be able to like upload like really low res videos but I'm gonna shut up right now I can perform a few range sounds if I get mad and you can just watch sit back and watch and listen to the music Hey -o. Boing, boing, boing. Challenge complete. Bonus! Again. Yeah, see, every time you collect the gold bars, you get a bonus level, so. I'm actually getting far in these ones. I know I don't. Oh, I didn't see that one. Ah, oh, too bad. I think you get more score with like those bonus levels. I'm pretty sure. But my yeah, I'm not kind of sure. Now I can slide. Oh, cause I already had that ability as well as the kicking. But we'll get to that later. 
I suck at this. Just hold on. Wait, it's just, like, I love, like, the style of this game, too. It's, like, all foxily and whatnot. Kind of like Minecraft or Terraria or Starbound. Now I have three references of voxel games I've played. Or Cube World, I guess. But, it's, I like beat games. The entire Bit Trip series is very cool. Like, it's all about the beat and platforming. And platforming is very fun. In fact, it's for me, boy. Oh, uh, you can be uh, this guy. Commander Video. I'm not sure what his ability is in uh, to for me, boy, but. Eh. I'll find out, probably. At some point. That's <laughs> funny, is. Like, look at the rainbow. It follows your path. <laughs> that looks weird. But, I think we'll do a few more challenges, and then... Yeah, we'll do a few more challenges, like these bonus levels, and as well as normal levels, and then, um, uh, I'll cut, I'll... Oh. See, you can't get all the gold bars like I normally do, but you have to... You know, to get some gold bars, you have to really time it. Time it, like, perfectly. Crater Raider. I think there's like a l 12 levels, and the last level is a boss level. I've never. I haven't made it to the boss level this one yet. I think this is one of the only games I've played that I actually want to complete the whole game. Like, 101%. Oh, crap. But yeah, it, this is a very fun game. If you get your, if you can get your hands on it, by the way, very low priced. I need to check the price on it again. I'll put that in the description if you wanted to know. And it's very well worth the effort. I bought it for 99 cents at, during the uh, Christmas sale because I thought it was fun. I had leftover money. I probably wasted it. I thought I wasted it, but then I was able to actually play the game. And I was like, oh my god, this is like one of the funniest games I've ever played. And just, yeah. Apart from my voice, just listen to the music. It sounds so, it's, it's like always a beat. And all your like successful like dodges and whatnot. I'll com like all like contribute to the music in the background. See, like every time I jump over these rocks and stuff. Although it can be get a trivia, I'm guessing, with the because when you get on those pluses, power ups, I guess. It, 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 it kind of like it, they just the gold bars just explode in your face. It's really cool. Let's know what you're doing. See what I mean? They just explode. Kaboom! Woo! Weirdest rainbow you ever seen. But it's like a mix of 2D, 3D, and. yeah. And voxel. Uh, all combined into a voxel. The character himself is pixelated, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, the bonus levels are rage inducing, but they're fun. They're all, like all the levels in this game are really fun. But you see in the fr like the bonus levels, I guess I think it's like retro. Okay, now we can kick. Um, like it was really retro, so I'm guessing that was like I think those were levels from the first, like the first ever Bit Trip Runner they made. game is really fun, but like with the retro thing, you know there is no music, it just makes sense to think what you do. Like, 
it's like it's only like if you get the gold bars that's what makes the music otherwise it's just like silent yeah meh but if you like platform games like this or rhythm games I guess it was this would be a rhythm game it's check you have to check this out it's like it's a very fun game. Um, it I think it costs like a maybe two bucks, maybe two dollars. Not entirely sure, but like very cheap though. Very cheap. You can you don't really have to spend that much. I I got on the Christmas sale, so I got for like ninety nine cents, which is also a good deal. Yeah, if you're a completionist like I am sometimes with games like this one, um, the gold bars can kind of trick you where you think they'll be on platforms, but it turns out they're on the platforms. No. So it's always good to like make a whole run through the game. Maybe like kill yourself. Like what I've been doing lately when I've been like doing like free play stuff is I'll uh, like be playing this. Like what I'll be doing is, um, if I lose like one gold bar, I'll kill myself and then you know respawn back at the start. Yeah, like I really like what they do with the like the little upgrades, cause it like really changes the music and stuff. But. by far one of my favorite games of all time I would have to say okay the only sad thing about this like the gold bars and stuff in this one is the fact that it only makes one sound it's not like in the uh, like no ones or like all the jumps and stuff like have different notes depending on what like what's going on with the music at that point. Like music spring, and then get like a nice bass solo or something, guitar solo. <laughs> Whoa! Ugh. Ah! Okay, kill myself. See, I got stuck on this low because I never got the gold bar. I'm just addicted to having the cold bar for some reason. So, like when I was first playing through this level, I got I got really mad because I wasn't getting that specific gold bar. Like, come on, man! That's when I got it. This game. Oh my god. It's just so much fun. It's just a fun game. Like, there's no way to get around that. Yeah. I. Okay, I'm not sure if this game was made in 2010 or if that's when the car company started or whatever. But. I don't really care. I don't really care. I'm just gonna play this game. Or, eh, eh, I guess if meh, I'll, I guess we'll do till we get to lo level 10, maybe. I think when you, when you ever call any object or like potential death, that's when they make like sounds. Like the wall, wall's going down, like stairs going down, that's fine, but wall's going like stairs going up or like. Because you potentially walk into the stair if you're not, I don't know, fast enough or whatever. You go like right into the wall. Like here, you have to jump over it. 
finished! <laughs> so, so far, I've been getting 100% all these levels. The thing is, there's no speed in this game, it's just all about, like, rhythm and beat. Oh no! My game bros! Okay, that was weird. I got a little pop on my screw on my uh my desktop. And it screwed <laughs> it screwed me over basically. It just froze my game. <laughs> okay, next level, after we beat that and the bonus level, or at least get as far as we can the bonus level. Um, then I'll end it there. Right now I'm also playing on normal mode, by the way. You can change down the options, I'm pretty sure it, like, it'll make like it faster, I think. Which is, in my mind, that's probably what will make it harder. Honestly, for me, I like music like this, or like no lyrics or anything, but it's just like a beat. What? 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 What was that? Hi. Oh, no bonus. Oh, you see what happens if you don't get a bonus? Oh yeah, this. Yeah, end of the beginning. One ten. Oh, this this level is a pain in the ace. Trust me. Ah, death. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um. Okay, the only reason this might be a long episode of Wally plays is either because of me wanting to get all the gold pieces and the fact that some of these action levels are actually pretty long. So it's half my fault. Well technically it's all my fault for playing this game, but it's it looks fun. I watched some gameplay of it like, ooh, this looks fun. And then um, a few clicks later I got this game and started playing and it was awesome. Ah! I completely missed the jump. Oh, I don't want that's how it's supposed to be. I was gonna like kind of delay it so I would get all the gold pieces. That's what probably happened. I probably waited too long before I did it. Also, word on new series, Magical Endeavors. If you guys like that series, I know you guys like that series. I'm bringing it back. It'll be back soon. I'm adding mods and reconfiguring mods and all that um, to try and make it work. So they all run nicely in harmony with each other. Some hints. Let's just say the series is gonna get darker. Like I'm not saying no, I'm like, like darker in the aspect of like magic wise. It's it's gonna get darker magic, man. Blood magic. Um, come. Yeah. Very very low stuff. Dark magic. The dark arts, if you will. So yeah. Um, ooh, nice score, nice score. So twenty million eight eight hundred seventy-seven thousand five hundred. That's my final score for the tenth level of the first course. So yeah. Um, let me know in the comments if you if you beat it, and I guess like give me a video response and show me you beat it. Cause I don't or or give me or email me at andrewjwsnow at um at gmail.com and I'll see you guys there. Anyways, what's a midplay thing? Some furniture mods are making it in, so like for more aesthetics. I, I want them. Uh well actually 
updates to mods as well. Um, I know Ars Magica got updated and Thumbcraft and all that. And I guess you'll just have to wait and see what comes next. Anyways, I've been Wallace Bar 56, and you all know the drill by now. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. I'm Lady Wallace Bar 56, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace!